Hello friends, this is James Corbett at CorbettReport.com with your thought for the day, March 31st, 2015, and I came across some vitally important information while browsing around online recently, so I thought I would share it with you. This is from pch.gc.ca, aka the Government of Canada Canadian Heritage website, Rules for Flying the Flag, Display of the Flag. The national flag of Canada should be displayed only in a matter befitting this, this important national symbol. It should not be subjected to indignity or displayed in a position inferior to any other flag or ensign. The national flag always takes precedence over all national flags when flown in Canada. The only flags to which precedence is given over the Canadian flag are the personal standards of members of the royal family and of Her Majesty's blah blah blah. Oh, oops! Oops, did I do that? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, Mrs. Queen. Sorry, sorry, Government of Canada. Sorry, Canadian Heritage website. Actually, I'm not that sorry. I'm not that angry either. I'm not angry at the people who are brainwashed enough to believe this, the 30 million or so Canadians and the 7 billion or so uh, assorted people around the world who are brainwashed enough to believe in the most destructive, violent, tenacious, bloody, tyrannical cult that has ever been known in the history of humankind. I am referring, of course, to the cult of statism. It is a virulent minded disease that needs to be eradicated from the face of the planet. And these rules for displaying the flag of Canada are just one particularly egregious example of that statism minded disease phenomenon. There are many, many, many others, many of which of course are more bloody, but there are many people who have, who have said and who continue to maintain that they have died and will fight for the flag. This is obviously a deep underlying part of human psychology. This is why so many people end up dying in rivers of blood over pieces of cloth. It is because it appeals to something basic in our psychological instincts. And it is disgusting, but it is what it is. And we have to understand that everything, everything about the trappings of these elections and these figures up on the stage and the leaders and the alpha male psychology... All of this is deeply well understood by the people who have created this system in order to get people to go along with the bloodshed and the slaughter and the violence and the guns to the head that is all of these ridiculous pieces of laws, rules, regulations, and other restrictions that are placed on free, otherwise free human beings. Now, I'm not expecting this to collapse overnight. As I say, there's a lot of psychology behind this. I'll throw some of the links in the show notes. And of course, this does play into the stupid left-right political paradigm in a lot of different ways. There are studies that show that just one exposure to the American flag is more likely to make American voters vote for the Republican Party. The uh, Canadian flag is red and white as uh, a part of a historical phenomenon. Look up the great Canadian flag debate and learn about how the Liberal Party engineered it so it looks suspiciously like the Liberal Liberal Party colors and all of those types of ridiculous left-right shenanigans. But more importantly, it is about the dressings and trappings and formalities of symbolism. This is why Hitler and Goering and the Nazis were so great at all of those political parties that they put on that looked so impressive because they knew about the theater, the psychology of control. It is an exceptionally important part of the matrix that we're living in. And we have to tear up the rules, metaphorically or really on this phenomenon in order to break free of the conditioning, the decades of conditioning that we have all been subjected to since our birth to stand up and salute the flag or say a pledge of allegiance or whatever it may have been in whatever part of the world you may have inhabited. I'm sure there's something like this, the, the giving part of your soul, your identity, your, your allegiance to a piece of cloth, which is representative of the rule of tyrants, of oligarchical tyrants over the rest of us. That is what this is all about. Please resist.